So this video might not be for everybody, but I want to be talking about something quite important to myself and important to a lot of people I know in the world, and that is talking about PTSD and depression. And in my humble opinion, one of the greatest medicines I personally use in my journey is MDMA. In, in my mind, I think MDMA, when it comes to depression, when it comes to PTSD, has the most impactful and beneficial properties in a very short period of time. In fact, uh, if you look at the studies done by MAPS, I mentioned that in my last video, there's a link below this video. They've done a study on people with PTSD who've had it clinically for about 10 years. They've tried all different treatment plans from this drug to this therapy, nothing really worked. And what they did with them is they had two treatments uh, with MDMA with say somebody who's a psychotherapist or someone can psychoanalyze themselves. And they said that within those two treatments, they had more benefits than the total combination of all the previous treatments, but it goes beyond that. In fact, the carryover was six months. You see, this is the problem in the world today. We are being manipulated and scammed when it comes to the war on drugs. The whole idea on the war of drugs is an industry, it's business, it's money. Look at how much money is made in the war on drugs. Cocaine is illegal, MDMA is illegal, psilocybin is illegal, certain places ayahuasca is illegal, certain places Ebola is illegal, etc, etc, etc. Yet at the exact same time, oxycodone is legal. Uh, certain, you know, opiates are legal. When we look at Ontario here, a new, new statute just came out showing that supposedly one third of people in Ontario are addicted to opioids. Think about that, one third, that, that, that's ridiculous. So this whole war on drugs, we've been scammed, completely scammed. And the whole idea that real medicines such as psilocybin, MDMA are illegal tells you a lot of things because they work. Now, I'm not a medical practitioner, I'm not a doctor, you guys know who I am. And this comes with a big warning to anybody out there who is listening to me, uh, who is hearing me out. Whatever you do in life, do your due diligence, talk to medical practitioners, talk to people in your community, in your network, before you do anything in your life. But my personal experience is MDMA is a wonder drug. It's a wonder medicine that hacks your mind, especially for people who have emotional, let's say, retardation. I don't like to use that word, but that's a medical definition. It's people who are emotionally numb who have a very difficult time of expressing themselves. And I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm a very, let's say, cold individual, born and raised that way, gone through many different experiences in my life from being stabbed, shot at, etc. cetera. Um, but what MDMA does, as Joseph Campbell talks about it in masks or Jung, in Jungian psychology, is it peels the onion layers away. The masks that you have, they, 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 they liquefy off of you. They completely fall apart. And what you're left with is this purity of an individual that you really have an opportunity and a, and a very beautiful opportunity to express yourself internally without feeling that you're being judged upon, without the feeling that you are breaking a certain motif, that you're, you're breaking your mask that you wear. It literally creates almost a childlike persona inside of yourself that you have this ability to communicate with people. And this is why a lot of people like to use it when it comes to sh social gatherings or certain events. And you know, I've used it in a medicinal purpose where I will actually communicate in a forum with people uh, to express yourself. And what's really good about this, you can have a pen and paper, you can talk to people, but the whole notion is it actually transforms your mind. It transforms certain neural networks to bypass the gates that you've created, to bypass the walls that you've created over your emotional, let's say, uh, emotional bank that you have in your mind. And I, I love the fact that organizations such as MAPS, and if you guys haven't checked out MAPS, please check out MAPS. Support them, donate to them. I try to do as much as I can for them, but there's a link below this video. Go check out MAPS, look at their studies. They're doing clinical peer-reviewed studies on MDMA, on psilocybin, on all these plant medicines, even though MDMA is not, but, but medicines in general that really helps mankind. So if you're out there 
and you are suffering from depression. I've, I've suffered from depression my whole life. I have ebbs and flows and very cyclical. It's actually quite common for a person who is entrepreneurial to be kind of manic depressive, to have the highs and then lows right away. So if you're an individual who's suffering from PTSD, who's suffering from depression, who's tried fucking everything out there and you haven't seen any results, I really urge you to look into maps, to look into MDMA and look at the beneficial effects because you never know that maybe one or two treatments, you're literally a step away from one or two treatments away from really having a breakthrough in your life. So I wanted to keep this video super short. I don't want to make it too long, but the bottom line is, uh, as I mentioned in my last video, using substances and medicines such as psilocybin and ayahuasca and iboga can drastically improve the whole quality of your life. It can improve you as a human being, uh, both in a mental, spiritual, and physical way. It can improve you in your relationships, and it can improve in your business. It improves you and upgrades your software in your mind, and MDMA does this for me, and it's proven in studies. So I recommend that you do your research and homework, and if you are one of these people like myself who suffer from depression, who are prone to these ebbs and flows of depression, it has been an amazing tool that I use in my arsenal. All right, guys, I'll leave it at that. Like I said, super short, roughly around five minutes. If you guys have any questions for me and want to know maybe, uh, you know, my, my more experiences with it or whatever it may be, leave a comment below this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.